Hey y'all, today we're going to be making crock pot scrambled eggs. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And be sure to stick around for a massive sticky fail. My camper kitchen. I am Chris from recipes at crock.com. I am still trying to get my morning coffee in because we decided we were going to tape early this morning. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm Mikey from recipes at crock.com. <laughs> we are going to make one of our tried and true recipes that you guys have grown to love over the years, and we're testing it out in a new to us uh, multi cooker. This is the instant pot, not electric pressure cooker. Instant Pot brand multi cooker. It is called Aura Pro. Aura. Aura. You know, like, I have such a wonderful aura about me. <laughs> so, or, like, this morning I got up and I said, Aura, right, you going to make me breakfast this morning? <laughs> That's right. And so, one of the reasons I wanted to test this out is we think this, this pot is a contender to go on the road for us in our camper kitchen. We're doing auditions right but, now. But exactly, we need to know how this stainless steel pot is going to hold up to sticky things like me, <laughs> uh, like uh, a crock pot scrambled egg. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. Some of you were asking when we were doing our um. Mississippi chicken if anything stuck and it actually did really really well. So we're gonna try scrambled eggs to See if this will give it a true test. So what you're gonna need right now inside the pot melted is um, a cut or a, a tablespoon and a half of melted butter and so I Took my pot out and I kind of coated the sides really well even more than I would um, my non-stick um, Oh slow cookers so if you have a ceramic slow cooker I'd make sure that you really do that with that too Mikey is beating 10 um, eggs that we put in the mixing bowl into that we're gonna add a cup and a fourth of heavy cream And then I'm going to sprinkle in two cups of mozzarella cheese. This will make super duper fluffy eggs. Now one of the other reasons I want to test this recipe in this particular pot is this is an eight quart. Um, a six quart makes super fluffy eggs because it can grab on the sides and pull up. And so I'm wondering with the bigger cooking vessel, is it going to be as fluffy or is it going to kind of be flat? We're about to find out. Yep. So we're testing things out. Mix those eggs, mix that cheese in as you're doing it, and then you'll have less clumps. Yep. And so this is an example of what we do when we test out a new slow cooker in our kitchens is we're like, okay, is this good for cakes? Is this good for sticky things like uh, scrambled eggs? Or is this more for um, chicken recipes or, you know, your typical um, main dish meats? So we're testing all those kinds of things out right now. Salt and pepper. Yes. Before we go on the road and we're making one of these recipes that some of our newer um, folks may not have seen and um, our long time, time crock posse members may have even forgot about but this is one that we make all the time 13 oh always all right i added probably about a teaspoon and a half maybe two teaspoons of salt to this because that's 10 eggs that's a lot of eggs but again in that much that's really not that much salt but i'd rather like I've always said, you could salt and pepper more later. You could season it to your taste. This is just going to give it a little bit of flavor, but that is mixed up good to go. All go, right. Boss. Okay, so now we're just going to pour it in over the butter. We're going to cook this on high for one to two hours. My guess it's going to be much, much closer to the one hour mark because usually it is. And also this is a bigger cooking vessel with less food down in it. So it should cook up. Um, Hopefully fluffy. Yes. Like me. So <laughs> we will see you back here in three, two, one. Hey guys, we are at the hour and 15 minute mark and it's not even hardly set up at all. And this is why we always tell you to test recipes in new units to you or test a new recipe in your slow cooker and not just go off of the time. I make this all the time. It usually cooks up in about 45 minutes to an hour in our Ninja. And this is what it looks like in a bigger pot, which is very unusual and more time than what's usual. And it's nowhere near yet. So check this out. 
see how jiggly it still is? We got a little bit of time to go. That just means I need more coffee. And we are back, and how long has it been, honey? It's been a while, guys. So, un completely characteristic of most eight quart slow cookers, it was cooking way slow. So, we went for two hours, and it still was not hardly setting up at all. And that was set all. on high slow cook. High slow cook. So, what I ended up doing, because this is a multi cooker, it has a bake feature. So I turned on the bake feature after the two hours. I could have went another hour and maybe it would have set up, but it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. And that's part of what we're doing here is kind of testing this out. So what I did is I, I switched it to the bake feature. Now this is a tried and true recipe that we've made in regular slow cookers, like with the ceramic inserts, we've made it in our, um, Ninja multi cooker and it always cooks up fast each time. What this tells me is this pot must cook a lot cooler than what um, most of our um, oh slow cookers that we normally use. What have I always cook. said? What have I always said? Some slow cookers cook faster than others. Some slow cookers cook slower than others. This one cooks slower than others well, on a slow cook setting. Well, and I will also say that makes a little bit more sense because uh, with our instant pot electric pressure cooker slow cooker features, it also cooks a lot cooler. So since this is the same brand, it kind of makes sense that it does that. Now, so will I make my scrambled eggs in this particular pot in the future? Probably not, because I don't want to wait all probably that time. I'll probably go back to my Ninja or one of my ceramic crocs. However, the bake feature, once I turn that on, it, it took it right back up it, and it set my eggs up. So what we're looking for is for it to set up and when you jiggle it, there not to be any more liquid. So now this is good. And so what all we're gonna do is carefully fold the edges in and see to make it scrambled eggs. Now you can uh, see, see it, it burnt on the bottom on me. That is probably my fault for changing it to bake. But we're being real here, guys. But I'll tell you what, the eggs do look Ooh, good. Ooh, getting steamy. The eggs themselves look really good. They smell amazing. It just looks like I'm going to have a little bit of an elbow grease situation and cleaning this baby up. That's where your barkeeper's friend will come in handy. Yes. We might even show that here in a minute. Okay. Let's, let's taste test. Now, why would we go to all this trouble to make scrambled eggs? Because when, they're delicious. When you could just make them in the skillet, you know, in 10, 15 minutes. Would you like more, dear? Mm -hmm. um, one, I like making it like this for a crowd, or I like making this for our breakfast burritos so I can make up a big bunch and then divide it up. But two, I also really like it because it makes the fluffiest, creamiest eggs. You got to get a close up of this. Check that out. They're steamy. They're creamy. They're fluffier than all get out. That cheese, you still see some of that mozzarella cheese hanging out there. I've never had scrambled eggs from a skillet that are this fluffy mm -mm. ever. Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. This is our, um, this is our go-to anytime we make scrambled oh, eggs. Yeah. And it's such a versatile it's thing because it's scrambled eggs, so you could throw stuff in there. They're like bacon, mm -hmm. maybe some chopped onion. Tomatoes go really well in this. Mm -hmm. Avocado, not avocado. Um, artichoke would go really well in this. Maybe avocado on top. That'd be all right. Well, this is the base that mm -hmm. we use for a lot of our egg casseroles, mm -hmm. too. But we like to Ham. make the scramble for the breakfast burritos in particular, and then also just to have eggs. American cheese on top. Maybe some garlic. I could go all day and tell you what to put in it. You put in it what you want. What would you put in it? What would you put in an egg casserole if you had these scrambled eggs? And trust me, you want these scrambled eggs. How many people are leaning towards your screen right now trying to lick it? Mmm. <laughs> so good, babe. So good. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I guess we could sit here and eat eggs on camera all day. Well, but I got a pot to clean. Yeah, I got a video to edit. <laughs> I got more eggs to eat, too. So... Um, I'm going to show you how I get this unstuck here in three, two, one. 
Okay guys, so what I first did is I ran some cool water over this hot pot so that I don't burn myself because I don't want this to stick for very long. We could let it set for a while and we'll see. I'm winging it right now because again, this is our first impressions. Um, this was my fault because I was trying to save a recipe that was not cooking up. But the first thing I'm going to do is I have a little scraper here and I'm going to scrape off the bottom. Now the good news is because I didn't try to scrape this with my recipe, I saved my eggs. So my eggs taste great. They don't taste burnt. But I need to get all this excess food off first. Or I try to add my barkeeper's friend. So I'm going to just scrape this until, you know, I get all the stuff that will come off off. And then I'll see you back here with my barkeeper's friend. Okay, so now you can see I've got most of the food out and now it's just the, oh, how do I get this out of here stuff. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of hot water in and get everything wet with the hot water. Make sure I have to, I'm in my camper kitchen, so I have to make sure it's hot. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. We're going to get everything wet with hot water again. And I just want a little bit of water in there, not tons. Just kind of coating the bottom. And then I'm going to get my barkeeper's friend out and I'm going to sprinkle it around. I'm going to take my sponge and it has a scrubby side Then I'm just going to use the water to kind of help me get all those bits off. And you see how easy it's coming off? That would not be that easy without that barkeeper's friend. So now I just do that all the way around until I get all that excess off. So there you go. Now, was that fun? No. It wasn't nearly as bad as what it looked like it was going to be. And I could have let it set here and soak and soak and soak. But honestly, that's the quickest way to, to get stuck on food. That works on your ceramic pots too. It works in your electric pressure cooker pots too. Um, but would I be making my scrambled eggs in this pot again? No, but that's why I was testing it to see um, how it would do. And if it was a good idea, the, uh, the answer is no. Um, I just wanted to see how non, how sticky, let's say, this, uh, this stainless steel pot was going to be. So things that I'll probably avoid cooking in this particular pot will be things with dairy, a lot of dairy, particularly cheese and eggs. So I probably won't be doing a lot of, um, uh, my cakes and stuff in this, although it does have a bake feature. I'll just have to test things. But I do know that um, I do have that burn on uh, or that ability to get really stuck on. And since I have my Ninja Multi Cooker, which has the non-stick surface, it might be a better choice for things like scrambled eggs. So that's one of the things I wanted to test out today while we were hanging out together. But if you guys like, I'm not going to put that right back in there. I've got to wash the, finish rinsing that off. <laughs> If you guys like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you are not already a member of the Crock Posse, we'd love for you to click subscribe down below and become a member of our slow cooking family around here. Um, if you'd like notified every time you upload a video, click the dingling. That's the notification bell down below. And that will tell YouTube to uh, notify you every time we upload a video. But whatever you do, we hope you... Squishy your head. Uh, oh, and laugh often. <laughs> Eat good food. And speak life. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon. And